What's up guys, it's Punchy, and it's time for the comically large hammer one-shot technique. Recently in Deep Woken, we've got a lot of giant weapons, pretty big options with abusable range as well. Of course, we got the comically large katana with the worm tooth, but now it's time to step it up a notch. In Deep Woken, a lot of people say there's only one weapon that can truly be the biggest, and usually they mention the Hive Lord's hubris. Although, this option is ridiculous in both size and range, it's a little bit Bit too slow to be considered non-gimmicky, and it's certainly not a real weapon. I mean, it's a mech arm, let's be serious. But if I had to pick, the newest great hammer, Sovereign's Punishment, outscales the rest since it's absolutely massive. One might even call this hammer comically large. Since this weapon is so big, it makes sense for it to deal pretty high damage, with outstanding damage stats of around 55 damage alongside a massive 9 range, this thing is pretty powerful above anything else. It is very slow, but the best thing to abuse with this weapon is the absolutely absurd posture damage which can be multiplied and improved with basically anything in the game. In order to make our Sovereign's Punishment almost insta guard break on simple M1s, we will need a few different tools. Of course, our weapon of choice needs to be tier 3 weight to multiply our base posture damage by a bonus of 12%. This can also be increased even further with a heavy hands ring as well well to boost our weight with another bonus multiplier of about 15%. Enchanting stone to this weapon makes us apply even more posture the more damage that we're actually dealing. This weapon is absolutely busted in the damage department since it's doing around 54 plus damage at a starting level. After this, simply pop on Ardor or Hockey for even more posture output in a single swing. The final piece of this puzzle comes from the shield breaker talent since we do have a giant great hammer. Blunt damage now fully ignores the posture bonus granted from shields, allowing you to get to work easily with some crazy damage on hit. A single M1 should be dealing around 35 posture, which is fairly higher than the standard posture of 30 that people usually have. Now, with a few or single M1, you're going to be insta guard breaking anybody blocking while doing heavy damage to shield users. Keep in mind that all guard breaks bypass damage resistance while doing true damage, which is absolutely insane with this weapon. Mixing up players with an insanely slow swing speed, weird stun moves, and of course, our comically large hammer is the perfect way to start trolling using this weapon. To be fair, yeah, you could probably do this with other options, but their size is not comparable to the Sovereign's Punishment. Truly, this is the biggest hammer in all of Deep Woken. Some may say this weapon isn't that good and the only punishment is using it, but hey, it's the only comically large hammer. And that's all for right now, and it's definitely a goofy option to play around with. Try it out for yourself, but I think it might need some buffs. As always, make sure to like and subscribe so we can hit 85k subs. Thanks again, it's punching time.